here on NXT. It's dream time! And their opponents at a combined weight of 492 pounds, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Here we go, and it sounds to me like the crowd is more than ready for this one. So am I, Michael. I've been looking forward to this match for a long, long time. Trey can stay focused after what happened last week to his best friend Red at the hands of Rhea Ripley. Yeah, we've been told Red is home recovering with an eye injury, and it's not certain whether she'll be cleared for NXT TakeOver. Well, given what I've seen so far from Trey, I don't think his brain's capable of focusing on multiple things at once. So unless Velveteen Dream can carry their team to victory tonight, I fully expect the Street Profits to advance. Look at this power. Boom! Ah, oh, he's in a bad spot now. Yeah, he's got to find a way out of that corner. As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars oftentimes try to make a statement with their entrance, and I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, firing it. NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. He's so close to making the tag here, Corey. They yeah, would think of all the way for the top, down with force. Tag is made. Little tandem offense on the horizon. Oh, and that'll turn your lights out. Somehow has to find a way to make a tag here. Completely agree. Getting the partner in here is absolutely vital. Almost just a little bit further. Come on now. Almost there. Don't give up now. Ooh. Keep your eyes on this one. All the way from the top rope. Oh, and a double foot stop. To elaborate a little more on Velveteen Dream's takeover Philadelphia entrance you guys mentioned. For me, the best part was watching Dream have his customized mouth guard inserted by a member of said entourage. Yeah, that mouth guard was on a feather bed pillow, mind you. And he wore fancy airbrushed boxing trunks to the ring that said, Dream over. And that night, he was standing tall over his opponent. Tagged in. Oh. Axe handle finds its target. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. Comes in off the tag. Wicked body shot. Back 
Undertaker. The ropes. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Bam! Suplex! Wasn't expecting that. Oh my God, he's taking some good hits. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself or does he attempt to make a tag here? No, oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Out on the apron. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. Out on the apron. Bringing it back into the ring. And the big right hands unloading. Huge overhead belly to belly. A striking blow. Witness the experience, fellas. He's a powerful man with great energy. Pushed down into the defensive. If I'm his partner, I'm furious right now. There's no reason why he shouldn't have made a tag by now. What a punch! Well scouted reversal there. trying to get to the corner now. It's not going to be easy, though, Michael. Oh, he almost makes the tag. Yeah, but almost means absolutely nothing, Cole. Look at Saxton. He's almost tolerable. Doesn't mean he is, though. Devastating elbow. Oh, again! Running knee! A lot has been endured by Angelo Dawkins, and he could be done very soon. Unless he has no interest in walking away with the winner's end of the purse, he needs to make a tag immediately. Strong. Dream Valley Driver! We all know what's next! Did Trey just tag himself in? What is he thinking? Trey with his version of the Purple Rainmaker. And it's all over. Trey and Velveteen advance to the finals of the Dusty Classic. Look at this clown celebrating like he accomplished something. He stole the win from Velveteen Dream. All that matters is they won and they're advancing. And look, Velveteen approves. Yeah, well, I don't. Women's Championship against Candice LeRae and Rhea Ripley, who brutally attacked Red just a few weeks ago. In addition to that enormous match, we also have the finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, where Trey and Velveteen Dream will take on the Viking Raiders. Well, Byron, in all your excitement, you forgot to mention that since the Women's Championship match is back to a triple threat, that also means it'll be no disqualification, which, if you ask me, only means trouble for Candice and Ray.
Hey, I heard the good news, you were cleared. But, uh, you sure you're okay? I'm only sure of one thing. I'm going to annihilate Rhea Ripley. She almost took everything from me, but her mistake was she stopped at almost. Tonight, I won't stop. At least your match is no DQ. That way you can take care of Rhea and still win the title, so that's good. Ooh. I'd say it's very good. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, the dream's reflection is beautiful. Right. Well, that trophy could be ours, but I was thinking we still don't feel like a real team. And a big part of that is because we don't have matching outfits like all the great tag teams throughout history. So, I went and had these made. I hope you like them. <laughs> I love them. For the first time since they started teaming, Trey and Velveteen Dream make their entrance together. Uh, and they've got brand new matching gear. Looking good. Maybe they've turned a corner as far as their team chemistry goes. It's one thing to wear the same gear as your partner, but the real test is going to be in the ring. If these two aren't on the same page when it really matters, the Viking Raiders are going to slaughter them. Look at Trey's moves. He's clearly been studying Velveteen's entrances. Oh, that time would have been better spent watching film on the Viking Raiders. But what's new? This guy's priorities have been out of whack since day one. To be fair, Corey, Velveteen Dream is known for his eccentric entrances, but always delivers when the bell rings. So why can't Trey do the same thing? Oh, that's easy. He doesn't have the same level of natural talent that Velveteen has. And besides, look at this guy. He looks like a goof out here trying to do Velveteen's mannerisms. If you're going to put that much effort into your entrance, at least get your own style. Uh, he's just trying to be a good teammate. It's all in good fun. Well, if this is your idea of fun, then that explains a lot. Nonetheless, these two have had an unexpected and impressive run to make it here to the finals. It kind of reminds me of last year when Ricochet and Aleister Black were a somewhat unlikely pairing, and they went on to win the entire tournament. We could see a similar outcome tonight. Uh, highly unlikely. The Viking Raiders have teamed thousands of times all over the world while Trey and Velveteen barely know each other. You can't overstate that kind of advantage. I, I hear you, but look at these synchronized moves. I'm telling you, these two are ready. As this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic final match gets underway, both of these teams look to join a prestigious group of previous winners. Yeah, the first tournament in 2015 included a star-studded field that was won by the team of Samoa Joe and Finn Balor. That's right. Other teams that have their names etched on the trophy include the Authors of Pain and the Undisputed Era. Look, I'm sorry, but the team of Trey and Velveteen Dream doesn't belong among the names you mentioned. The Viking Raiders, however, fit quite nicely. Well, before we just go hand out a trophy to anyone, let's see what happens in this match. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Perched up top. Diving knee drop. He's absorbed some damage already. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. Not looking good, guys. Corey, what are they going to do here? We're about to find out. He's attacking the back. Overhead belly to belly. You know, for somebody who hasn't been in the business all that long, I'd say Velveteen Dream sure does have a high opinion of himself. It's almost as if he looks down at the rest of the roster. And the Luthes press. Piston like rights. We're going to make the tag here. A tag at this point can change the whole complexion of this match, Michael. And he comes up short. I could have told you that was going to happen. 
Shoulder block over and over in the corner. Complete dominance. To Michael's point about Velveteen Dream's disdain for the locker room, it's no secret that the superstar he detests the most are those who first made a name for themselves on the independent scene. Absolutely has to make a tag here. Yeah, but that's easier said than done, Michael. Ooh, man! Yeah. Double axe handle. The Velveteen Dream creating nightmares. Yeah, I'm curious to see how long his stamina can hold here. In off the tag. Axe handle finds the mark. Launched with a belly to belly. Somehow has to find a way to make a tag here. Completely agree. Getting the partner in here is absolutely vital. Reverses. Can he make him pay? Ah, back drop suplex. What a high angle right across the shoulders. A striking blow. Oh, what a four. Axe handle finds its target. A back suplex. Looking to make a much needed tag here. And if successful, we may be looking. Dream Valley Driver! And Velveteen Dream tags Trey! It actually looks like he wants Trey to go to the top rope and hit the Purple Rainmaker! I told you they're on the same page now! What the hell? No! 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 Finally, Velveteen Dream has come to his senses. Velveteen Dream has essentially sacrificed Trey to their opponents. He has no chance. It's over. Well, face it, guys, the better team won just like I thought they would. And maybe we're going to get an explanation from Velveteen Dream. This is on you, partner. You called the Dream out, and you questioned the Dream's authenticity. But the Dream never needed some repulsive trophy for validation. The Dream already knew that there was only one Dream, and that is the Velveteen Dream. At one point, I considered letting you win this thing because the Dream felt sorry for your desperate need for success. But then, you repeatedly stole the Dream's spotlight, leeching off the Dream's moves, the Dream's look, and anything else you can get your hands on. But it's like the saying goes, Imitation is the sincerest form of battery. Oh no, uh, are those handcuffs? Trey to the ropes, just like how this all started. This is getting ugly. The man's helpless. We need someone to put an end to this right now. Look, I'm by no means advocating what's happening, but you have to admit, Trey brought this upon himself. The moment he mentioned Velveteen Dream's name, he was asking for trouble.
The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Punta Vedra Beach, Florida, L. It's a big time opportunity, Byron, as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. Here's one of the most dominant women superstars today, Rhea Ripley. She has all the potential in the world. And introducing the challenger from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley, of course, was the inaugural NXT UK Women's Champion. Inaugural and best, Cole. Uh, she may have a bad attitude in the ring, but this is a tough, tough woman. She fell short two years straight in the Mae Young Classic. Most competitors would lose confidence, but Ripley bounced back and made NXT UK history. Guys, she's been waiting a long time for this opportunity here tonight. Let's just hope she doesn't blow it, Cole, because opportunities like this don't come along very often. It's Candice Wrestling! And introducing the champion from Anaheim, California, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Candice LeRae! You know, Candice is a professional baker, so I wonder if her opponents can smell what the LeRae is cooking. <laughs> oh my God, Byron, just what I think, you couldn't be any dumber. She is married to that nerd, Johnny oh, Wrestling. Man, just stop, Corey. It's a global pity party. We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. These three women have crossed paths before, but never with so much on the line. Yeah, a big match on the Indies can put you on the map. The Mae Young Classic can kickstart a career, but becoming NXT Women's Champion can define a career. But are you guys forgetting that Red's out here competing half blind? I mean, I realize she was cleared, and she's obviously not 100%. The real story is whether Candice LeRae will be able to stop Rhea Ripley from taking her title. As far as I'm concerned, Red's a non-factor. I would never say that, Corey. In fact, Red's got an extra gear of anger, and I think she might be able to use that to her advantage tonight. There she goes. Nice. Oh, running Hurricane Rana. Amazing reflexes on display. Oh, running knee lift. She turned that one around. Inside the ring now. Small package driver. Oh, look at scoop slam. Come on, their shoulders. Stringing together some big moves here. She's always been a woman capable of great bursts of activity. She's leaving the ring. What's going to happen now? Ooh. Beautiful back kick. What a counter. And scissors Ooh. take that. Oh, very nice. She returns the favor there.
Oh, solid contact there. That is a great reversal. Boom! Oh, again! Hooked up. Now oh, look at the power. Side slam! She's in control. Oh, man. Wow. Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. She got out of the way there. Her evasion techniques are on point. For the win to retain the championship! Look at a steal one there, perhaps. Hey, I guess you never know. Three of these competitors hoping to walk away with the winner's end of the purse tonight. Some might consider just getting a title opportunity as a success, but I assure you, this superstar will settle for nothing less. And I think we just might see! Unceremoniously deposited down. Champion. We just witnessed one of the gutsiest performances in NXT history. Well, I'll be the first to admit I was wrong about Red. This was no fluke tonight. She earned every ounce of the gold she now holds in her hands. And there you see Red crossing this achievement off her list, one of many significant things she may go on to cross off in her career. A truly inspiring moment.